Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and it's all about VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. I'm going to show you guys how to configure it within a Server 2016 environment, and I'm going to show you the quick and easy, fast, dirty way. I have two machines that I'm going to be using within the video. I got my BJ Dash VPN, so let's console in. Awesome. And I also have a Windows 7 machine, so let's console into that as well. Awesome. Cool. Now, for the VPN uh, server to work properly, you got to make sure that you assign an IP address that's capable of talking to the outside world, the WAM. Okay? Uh, most likely, you might have to configure your firewall or router to have a NAT to NAT configuration within your VPN server. And I also recommend to have your VPN server behind the DMZ firewall so to keep it nice and secure. Okay, so within your VPN server, we need to get into your server manager. So I'm gonna click on my start button and start up server manager. From here, we're going to click on manage, add roles and features. We're gonna click on next, next on this, next on that. And the server role that you need will be remote access. Okay, we're gonna click on next on that. And features, we don't really need anything right now, so click on next. Uh, click on next again. Now, this particular section, we're only, we're only going to be uh, focusing on the direct access and VPN, or the RAS. So we're gonna click on that. And then you're going to just click all the features. These are all the, D4 features that you're going to be needing. Just click Add Features. We're going to click Next and click Next again. For the IIS stuff, I will leave everything as the default. It's really up to you if you want to add more stuff. But for me, I'm trying to do the quick and easy dirty way. So I'm just going to leave everything as the default and click Next. And we're going to click Install. Okay, so it looks like it's completed, but it needs some configuration required to finish the installation. So we are going to click on Open the Getting Started Wizard. Once you do that, you're going to get this nice little dialog box that says Configure Remote Access. Now, the one that we're going to be focusing is Deploy VPN Only. So let's click on that. And that's it. So what I'm going to do is click over here. I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to close my Server Manager up. And I am going to right click on this guy and we're going to do configure and enable routing and remote access. We're going to click on next on this. Now the option that I'm going to pick is configure or custom configuration. Let's click on next. We're going to do a VPN access only. And we're going to click finish. If everything goes well, you're going to get something like this. Uh, start the services and you're going to get another dialog box or another window stating this right here and if everything goes well this guy right here that's red should turn green awesome now the next thing that we need to do is right click on it and let's go to properties and within properties we're going to go into the ipv4 and i'm going to give it a static ip address now my static ip address is this for this network only so i'm going to give it to that and the ending one is going to be let's say 11. 11 addresses right click OK we're gonna click apply and OK now for this to work most likely you're doing this within the active directory so your users have to have permission to use the VPN access so I'm actually installing VPN within my domain controller which is not really best practice but uh, just to save time let's get into the active directory and users and I'm going to expand this right here and I'm going to click on my administrative account and within my administrative account you want to go into dial in and within dial in this part right here that says network access permissions by default you're going to get this I'm going to click allow access and apply and OK and we're going to close that up awesome now I'm going to expand this guy a little bit right here there's no remote access clients right now or RAC clients there's nothing connected to it so I am going to do is right click on this guy, go into command prompt, and I'm going to do IP config because I forgot the IP address. And this guy is 202021. And we are going to do the following. We are going to click on my, within my Windows 7. I'm going to do is open network sharing center. I am going to set up a new connection on network. We are going to do is connect to a workplace. Click next. Remember, we gave it an IP address pool of 10, 10, 10, 10, right? 
Uh, so what we are going to do is a use my internet connection as a VPN. From here, what we're going to do is use my internet connection as a VPN. I'm going to say set up my internet connection later. Let's give the IP address. Remember the IP address for our VPN server is 2021. It really depends on you and your environment. I'm going to call it uh, BTNHD VPN connection. Awesome. We're going to allow other people to use this connection. We're going to click on next and give it a password. So the password would be whatever account uh, has that that access that you gave it within the doubt and within Active Directory. For my example was the administrator and I'm going to say remember this password again. It's an environment my my lab, but I won't I don't recommend doing this if you're doing it live and it, our domain so btnhd.edu and we're going to create awesome okay we're going to close that up now if we click back over here in our taskbar we're going to see our new connection so i'm going to right click on this guy right now i'm going to go to properties and within property let's go to i believe security the data encryption we're going to do optional encryption and I'm going to uncheck challenge handshake authentication protocol. And we're going to do OK on that. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to right click on it and let's do connect. Uh, I'm going to put our password. Awesome. And connect. So now it's verifying, connecting to 2020 21, which is our VPN server. It's registering your computer on the network looks like we established a connection so let's click on this guy here it's connected I am going to do is a CMD uh, let's do an IP config uh, 2021 is this uh, this machine but look look at our VPN connection look at the IP address that I assigned 10 10 10 101 so if we go back inside our VPN server I'm gonna minimize this command prompt and I'm gonna do a refresh there goes the connection how awesome is that? Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is like the quick dirty way. Most likely what you need is an IP address within your VPN that's capable of talking outside and that's how you establish the connection. Uh, you might have to configure your firewall or router to do a NAT to NAT or if you do that, make sure that your VPN server is behind your DMZ because keep it nice and secure. Again, hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.